NBC News, our sister channel in the U.S., has confirmed that Israel carried out an operation on Iran. And we'll get you more details on that as we go along. Uh, but it's brought about a spike in oil prices. I'll get to that in a bit. But look at the impact it's having on Asian sentiment. The TIEX is down 5%. Now, yes, some of it could be because of the chip sell-off. But I reckon today and right now, uh, Asia is seeing an early reaction, not just to the U.S. futures, but also to rising Middle Eastern tensions because oil prices rising means bad news for most Asian economies that are oil consumers. The Nikkei 225 is down 3.5%, mirroring what's happening uh, with the U.S. futures. The Bangkok SET, the Thailand market, has gotten out of the gate 2% lower. Hang Seng Index, Kospi under pressure. Uh, Kospi is down in excess of 2.5%. Uh, uh, they have the ASX 200, which is down about a percent and a half. Remember, China buys a lot of Middle Eastern oil. India buys a lot of Middle Eastern oil. Some of ASEAN buys a lot of Middle Eastern oil. And so this is a very, very sensitive story for the region. At the extreme, extreme right, uh, the band there, uh, which reflects a 10-year U.S. Treasury yields, that's where money is going. So money is moving out of equities and going into bonds. U.S. bonds, Japanese bonds, 4% lower for the 10-year JGB in terms of the yield cooling off, correcting 4%. And for the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield, we are seeing a sell-off of 2.5%, 4.53 coming in for the 10-year U.S. Treasury yields. So yields going down on uh, government bonds means prices are going up, which essentially means that there's a fair amount of buying activity from investors in that segment of the market. Here's what we know on the oil situation, on the geopolitical situation in the Middle East between Iran and Israel. NBC News, our sister channel, sources have confirmed an Israeli operation was conducted against Iran earlier on. Israel had earlier told the U.S. that a response was coming after Iran over the weekend launched hundreds of drones and missiles against Israel. Iran's state media agency says there were explosions at the Isfahan airport, which is a civilian airport, which is adjacent to the Khatami air base, which is a military air base. Iran has suspended flights from the Tehran International Airport as well as over several other cities. Iran's Supreme National Council has reportedly been convened as we speak. Oil prices right in the center of this problem of uh, what we are seeing perhaps as a counteroffensive and rising tensions between the two countries very much at the epicenter of this issue 8544 coming in for WTI crude three and a quarter percent higher Brent crude just shy of nine uh, the 90 handle 8985 so while we've seen that initial move in oil prices I think the markets the oil markets are also waiting and watching out for what happens going forward from here in terms of whether there is scope for further escalation and if so, of what nature, of what magnitude, those are the questions that we are trying to find answers to. Uh, we are seeing a flight to safety. I've already marked that for our viewers. The dollar index is going up. Uh, gold is going up. You're looking at U.S. Treasury yields going down, but which essentially means that prices are going up, which means investors are buying U.S. Treasuries at this point. So that's where interest is focused. U.S. futures is seeing uh, a tumble. So the Dow Jones is down nearly 400 points. The Nasdaq down nearly 300. The S&P 500 down nearly 60 or 60 plus actually.